Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's so wonderful to be back in my home and doing my videos. I um, have been gone about nine days. We went to um, Yellowstone National Park and uh, it was beautiful to be there. And we had a wonderful nine day vacation, but coming home is always wonderful also. So I'm going to share with you some things today and I'll be back to let you know what they are. Welcome back, everyone. As I said before, it's good to be back in my home making my videos. And I'm going to share with you today um, a mega haul from Usborne. I love books, and Usborne books are beautiful and amazing. So I'm going to get started right away. The first book I got is on Christopher Columbus. We are going to be doing U.S. history, and we are going to be sharing all different books, but this is one that I did not have, and I seen it, and I thought that is one I want to add to my library. So I got that one. I also got the story of Heidi. I loved this story. I'm excited to read this to my son. I just think the story is beautiful. The setting is amazing, and just the love that they share with each other is awesome. The next book is 199 Zoo Animals. Now, I do have several other ones. I have one on birds, and um, I'm not sure exactly what the other one is. I can't remember right now. Maybe it's 199 Ocean Animals, but these are really awesome books. I just like because it goes through and it talks about wildcats and monkeys and reptiles and African animals, and it just goes through tons of different animals. So, love these books. The next room I'm going to share with you are books that we can color. This is called Rainforest to Color. And I like these because I just think the pictures in here are beautiful. We And it gives you a page so you can copy what they did. And you can kind of look at the colors they used and you can color these um, for yourself and do some really great detail. Now I am going to use these for my older daughter who is 14 so she can do some great details either with colored pencils or watercolors. We haven't decided, but there is Rainforest to Color, Under the Sea Life Color, and these are beautiful too. My son is a little bit young to do these, so I thought these would be perfect for her, for art, and then Wildflowers to Color. So absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, they're great detailed, so it's perfect for an older um, child to use. The next books I have make sounds, and these are some of Mason's favorite. This is called Night Sounds, and this came out of his Night Night book. But I love this. You open it up, and you read the story, and he pushes the button. Well, let me make sure I have it turned on. When he pushes the button, you can hear the owl. Then you go to the next page, and it talks. Um, you look for the little buttons to push, and it talks about the kittens purring. Super cute. So we got the night sounds. I'm going to turn that back off because I'm always afraid I'm going to forget and I run the battery down. Um, this one is jungle sounds. And I better turn that one on. I don't know if I turned it on or not. But he ex just loves these. Whoops, maybe I turned it off. Sorry about that. And these are just great for all different ages. And you just have to look to find the different ones. But it just has such bright, colorful pictures and animals in here in the jungle. He loves those. We do have one. I got this one um, because last time I tried to get it in the winter, it was out. So I went ahead and got this one. And it's so pretty. It just has, I guess we're doing... Christmas in July, so it's okay to share this. But it has just awesome, and you just, like I said, look. Very pretty. And like I said, Mason absolutely loves these books. Some of his favorites. And then I have one on um, first book uh, about the orchestra. And this has, oops, turn it back on.
So he is very into these. And it just goes through and he's excited because Sissy plays the flute and he gets to hear the music that the flute makes just like his sister. So this is a great book too. So he loves those. And then we have several of these. It's called um, Fingerprint Activities. This is about dinosaurs and it's got fingerprinting and you just use your paint here. And you just put your fingers on there and you can draw and add and make the dinosaur. It tells you how to start out and how you can add them to your landscape. It's so much fun and it just goes through different dinosaurs. So it's just a lot of fun. And Mason loves finger painting. So that works perfect for him. The next things are about under the sea and different things about the ocean. So this is under the sea. It's got a dolphin on it. We got the seashore my very first sea and ocean book and this is really cool i like this it's a nice heavy thick book and who lives in the sea on the seashore the different things on a seashore hiding and showing off and it just goes through with these beautiful the coral reef it just has beautiful pictures so this is another favorite and we are going to be doing a unit study on oceans so these books will be perfect and this is the first encyclopedia of seas and oceans and this one is absolutely beautiful inside it takes you through the content it tells you all different things and it just has beautiful pictures and it just gives you great information about all different things shipwrecks exploring the deep boats and ships dangerous seas uh, seashore life just coast beautiful pictures like i said osborne is gorgeous when it comes to their colors and illustrations the next book i got is under the sea and this is jigsaw book and this is exciting because mason loves to do puzzles so this is um a puzzle on this side that he will put together and as you flip through you will come to different puzzles about dolphins and there's all different ones in here seahorses so we'll read about them and then he'll put the puzzles together corals and just several different ones oops this one is coming out i think he was helping mommy get ready and we did some of that one so um the next group i'm going to show you this is called the ten soldier read with usborne jack and the beanstalk the wind and the wind in the willows and the last one i have is icarus the boy who flew too high and they're beautiful inside and they're fun stories and great illustrations and Mason likes these. And they're nice little chapter books for us to read during Morning Basket. And then we have some Usborne um, phonics um, stories. And this is Unicorn and Uniforms and Other Tales. Giraffe in the Bath and Other Tales. Cow Takes a Bow. And Ted and Friends. And there's 12... Um, there's there's different readers in here and this one also this one is has a cd in with it where the other one doesn't but this tells you the the content what stories are in here and then it has your cd that comes with it and the pictures are awesome so and they got little flip outs on the side there on different pages so you can flip out and see the animals underneath and whatever's underneath the picture so great book perfect for mason he's going to be in kindergarten so this is awesome for him so we got that one the next ones i got are the shine a light and this is dinosaurs and mason loves dinosaurs so and the shine a light books he loves those so at night time when we're doing uh night night time we can take our flashlight and we shine and it says let's take a look and when you shine in it shows you all these animals on the back and we have almost all of them, I think, now. So this is a dinosaur shine a light. And this one is at the library shine a light book. And same way inside of here, you have um, what's behind the curtain. And if you shine behind the curtain, it would show up all these fun characters. So really nice. Um, like I said, I think we have all of them now that we have these two. And then this one is called the Osborne Big Picture Book of the Planet Earth. We are doing um, earth science and we're doing some other things. Geology, um, ge yeah, 
geology, so we're going to do study of rocks. So I thought this one could go along with it, um, just talking about the earth and talks about fires and roots of the sea and it talks about different continents and just um, here comes the rain and different types of animals and different continents and, and, and what is on like the savannas and rivers and Africa, city water after a flood. It just goes through many different great informational, um, just little tidbits of different things. So I really like this and thought it would be fun. So Enchanted Islands. How pretty. So this is a great book. Then I got um, a big book of big trains because Mason um, loves trains. He absolutely loves trains. And we're going to do a study on trains. And this opens up huge. So you can open this up takes you through the whole engine of the train. So we're going to do a unit on trains. And I have several books that we got at our train museum. And when we do, he will enjoy that. So this gets opened real big. And it just has faster and faster. And it talks about mountain trains and all different kinds of trains and when trains were invented and all the great things. So this is the Usborne Big Book of Trains and some little ones too with four giant foldouts. So that's good. And then we have the big book of sea creatures to go along with our ocean unit study. And these are the same way. They flap way open. So you can open these books up. Beautiful illustrations. Wonderful bright colors. This is octopus, squids, and jellyfish. So very nice books. So the big book of sea creatures. And then the the last big book I have is, I have several of them, but these I think I did not have, so I ordered these. This is the big book of the body, and we're talking about health and health class, and that's something we'll do as a unit study together. So this opens way up on all, I think there's four big foldouts, and it just has some really great information in here. So it shows you all your muscles and your legs and really cool pictures. So, and it comes with four giant fold out also. And then the last thing I want to share with you is Bear Grylls Survival Camp, Ultimate All-Terrain Training Manual. And this is a really cool book. And Jessica over at Waldock Way has a, in her store, she has a curriculum that you can buy for survival camp. And it's a six-week Course, and it goes through this is the spine that she uses so she goes through all this and it has all different um, navigation and rolling and boats and rafts and river dangers and under the sea and lost at sea and ocean dangers um, exploring quest oceans and rivers and it goes alive and it takes you through all different explosions and takes you through tying knots and how to stay alive and fruits of the forest and and the beasts that are in there, and just forest and mountains. So it goes through several, several different parts, deserts, and just takes you on an amazing journey of survival. And this is the book for their um, what they use for their spine. And then um, you can get the books that also it suggests, and you can get those through um, Usborne. And this one is through Usborne also, and they're all Bear Grizz and their adventures. So there's this one, this, 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 whoopsie, let me take this one off, that number there, that one, and this one. So all of these go with this survival. And like I said, you can go over to um, Waldock Way Shop and you can look in her shop and she has this in there. And then like I said, all these books um, we'll go with it. And they're really nice inside. If you look at the books, they're um, nice. Um, you could do, you know, a couple chapters or a chapter a day and go through these. You have six weeks or longer, however you want to complete it. But you can get the unit study that goes along with these, which I thought would be awesome. So that is what I got from Usborne. We're excited to utilize these books, add these to our homeschool library. I hope you've enjoyed them. If you have any questions about any of them or you want me to, sh if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I do my next video. And thank you for sharing part of your Wednesday with me. Bye-bye now.